Welcome to Transformers Ball of Cybertron. It's been ages since I've made any content on this game. As some of you may know, if you are, say, Edo. Uh, Edo knows I haven't done content on this game for a very long time. I used to live stream it. But today we're going to be doing a video on the multiplayer and talking about the multiplayer and how to get multiplayer back up and running because it's a possible thing to do now. I will be leaving all the links in the description of what you need, which really there's only one link, which is the warehouse guide. And that guide will essentially tell you because I'm not intelligent enough to tell you how to do it. Because frankly, I don't understand half the shit I was doing with it either. But with that being said, let's hop into a game and talk about the game because, oh my days, if we find a game, sometimes you don't find a game. With that being said, ooh, you actually found a game. Let's go. With that being said, I want to run a, you know, private match and stuff right because for those of you who don't know this is one of the games from my childhood that i absolutely adore oh yeah that's not good uh this is a game from my childhood that i have played the ever-living hell out of on. Um, nope, shit. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm, yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's the Energon Harvester. Um, and so you can make your own little custom transformer, and I, for the most part, all of my transformers look very alike, because I like having the sound wave head. It's just what it is. Uh, the, what's interesting to me is it doesn't run off of the Steam servers. It used to. It no longer does. It now runs off of the warehouse servers. So you have your own custom servers and whatnot. Now, of course, because this is a, you know, 13, not 13, like an 11, no, maybe 13 years old now. Maybe it's War for Cybertron that's that old, but moral of the story is this game came out a while ago. It's not the most active video game on the planet. I'm not gonna say that it is. Okay. So it's not like, you know, you'll have... Let's see. It's not like you'll have, you know, the most massive multiplayer online experience with this game. You won't. Don't expect it. However, what you will have is you will have you know, the Transformers or for Cybertron or Fall of Cybertron experience. Now this also goes for the other Transformers games are also amongst the games that you can play. Damn. And of course, I'm not all that good with this game. Damn, I have just gotten a shitload of XP. And it is what it is. I mean, granted, my entire team is getting absolutely ass blasted by these guys. It is what it is. Like, it's gonna happen. It's, we have bad games, bad matches where the players kind of just wreck house. It is what it is. That's one of these matches. But overall, I want to have it to where, like, we get a bunch of people in the server, being the Discord server, which will also be in the description, and play it. Alrighty. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to win. But hey! <laughs> Leveled up the Titan a lot. There's that. Uh, and as you can see, there's four different classes. We'll go over them. I just wanted to play a match, get it in. So you guys are, you know, somewhat of um, I enjoy this game greatly. As you can see, servers work fine. 
it's it's peer to peer based, but servers work fine. Go to create a character, and then you have you know the scientist, which is your flyer, your titan, which is your big boy, your destroyer, which is your other slightly less big boy, and then your infiltrator, which you know you got a bunch of small weapons. For the destroyer, you have you know a bunch of explosives. For your titan, you have like the energon harvester, the X18 scrap maker, the corrosive slime cannon. Which is really, what I should do here. X18. Then the drop shot. And then for the scientists, you know, I have the photon burst rifle, the orbital pistol, hero shredder. I like the photon burst rifle on the sniper or on the scientist. And then, you know, you can go here and then you can cycle the pages. You can change their form, you know. There's a bunch of fuses, which essentially what fuses are are. Okay, they're mods, all right? They're just for fashion, right? Jet Quake Jazz, that's... Oh, God. Jet... Jet Quake Jazz. Silver Jazz Prime. Jazz Fire Prime. Jet Raid. Um, And then, you know, you just have your normal ones. Like, you have Jurassic, which, of course, is going to be your... Oh, Christ. Why can't I not remember his name right? Swoop. And then you have, you know, Insecticon stuff. I believe that's Air Raid, Shockwave, Jetfire, Vortex. Um, pretty sure Arc Light is Starscream. That's Starscream. You know, and then you have just a bunch of different skins. You know, that's really all you're doing is you're having skins. Like, I don't know what to tell you here. They're, they're skins for your robot and your transformer. But the difference is you can, you know, cycle through, see what all the things change. You know, I use Warmonger because as most people know, I really like Soundwave. But, you know, you could have Swoop's Headgear, fucking Ratchet Prime, which is pretty funny looking. Uh, there's Vortex, there's Starscream. You know... You'd have dino heads, jazz, a bunch of fuses, which uh, some of them look better than others, all right. You know, Optimus Jack, Grimlock's head. And again, you have, you know, Demo Jazz. The fuck is Demo Jazz? Side Scepter, Wakehound. And then you have Berserker, which is, of course, Grimlock. Eh, Grimlock's cool, but I like the Bruiser more. I like the look of it. I like the robot and vehicle mode. I use, um, you know, Soundwave for my destroyer because Soundwave is considered a destroyer sized entity. Of course, you could be Optimus Prime. You could be, you know, a lot of different throwback. You could be you could be old Optimus Prime. Because that's a choice. Or you could be the new Optimus. Where is he? There's new Optimus Prime. What is Laugh Wave? What? Hold on. What the hell is laugh? Oh, he gets beefier. Alrighty, I'm actually gonna run that. And then you have, you know, your infiltrator, which will be your small, 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 small. You know, most people run jazz because jazz is cool. I can't even argue with him. Like, you could go with Jazz's, the Slayer, which I don't even know who Slayer belongs to. But, you know, you've got all these different choices. I really, I'm not going to go over it all. I'm not. I could, but I'm not. But, you know, it's, I just wanted to go over this real quick, you know. Go over the game and the fact that it exists. There's also 
Escalation, which I would love to get four players to do Escalation with, which think of Escalation like survival, right? Like a zombies game mode of survival, all that jazz, where, you know, you can have it, hosts, you know, select map, let's just, there's three maps, four maps. Let's go Bolivian. And you load in. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you back later. Oh, never mind. I guess it loaded fast enough. You know, you have so Shockwave, Soundwave, Starscream, Megatron. We're going to go Soundwave because Soundwave's the fucking coolest. No one can tell me otherwise. Um, Match starts, and then I'll meet you back when the match actually, actually starts. Alrighty, I'm hearing noises, so I'm assuming they're about to spawn. Never mind, I see the timer on the top right. However, I just thought of something as well. There's also Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, another Transformers third-person shooter game that I am quite fan of, quite fond of, which has Escalation and has the same stuff where you can upload or do the multiplayer on it as well. And I will be putting in the website, I will not be linking directly to the game because that, that comes with its own host of issues. However, I will be linking to a website where you can get access to this game because as most of you may know, if you're a fan of Transformers, you can't really get access to the game. And the thing that's nice, geez Louise. Yeah, I'm not good at this game, I guess. Um, the thing that's nice as well, if only have the pad, damn it is that when you play and you do the modding for it, the entire server will help you out, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I think I'm also going to get Rise of the Dark Spark, so I may host Rise of the Dark Spark as well, because I think that would be also very fun. However, I need to go play through the campaign of it uh, still, and I guess I'll do that while... Uh, I'll do that off stream. Unless you guys want to see me do it on stream or on video, leave a comment whether you want to see me go through and get the stuff for Rise of the Dark Spark. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys in the server and maybe even wanting to join me on these older Transformers games. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces, boys. Don't forget to become a member. Or, you know, if you really want and you didn't know that you could get these for free, you know, become... Donate, whatever, be that I don't know, man. I just unlocked it, all right? I'm, I, I gotta spread it. YouTube likes it, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Boosts, boys. Have a wonderful day.